It's beer o'clock on me low craft beer. Today we've got a beer from Nergene O and it's a bottle of their Phosphorescence IPA coming in at 5.5% ABV. It's a triple hopped IPA with Nergene's quite recent branding. There's the bottle cap. I'd like to thank Nergene O for sending me this beer. Uh, we've had a few beers sent from Nergene up there. I have a Old Brown Reserve as well, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, they sent me a bottle cap also. Uh, let's get it. A bottle cap? A bottle opener. Uh, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Look at this triple hopped IPA. Give it quite a rigorous pour. It's got a three finger white head, good levels of carbonation, hazy as you like. Look at this. This looks like a New England IPA. Aroma on the beer then. It's really good. It, it kind of looks like a New England IPA, but no, it, it, it's definitely a triple hopped IPA. It's very fragrant, there's lots going on. It's a bit flowery, a bit floral. A little bit of sweetness coming through, but that could be just the sweetness from maybe the mango, not the mango flesh, but the mango hop. I, it's kind of maybe play with my mind a little bit. But it's very grapefruity, it smells very dry, very spicy. A little bit of orange peel. Should we dive in? Cheers, everybody. Yeah, I really like this. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows, what a great beer. Just clinically dry. It, To be honest with you, if you're thinking dry, this is like a dry champagne. This is like a really highly carbonated... Mm, not highly carbonated, but it, it's kind of got the feel of a champagne. That dryness when you drink it completely dries the back of your palate. But it's spicy as well, and there's some real fleshy grapefruit flavours coming through with orange peel and lime and pine needle. This is an old school triple hopped IPA, and I'm a massive fan of it. Let's see how hazy we can get this beer. 2018 is the year of the haze, uh, and 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 the year of the sediment, as uh, as we can see. <laughs> It's kept its head very well. Uh, the head's nice, the, the nice density to the head. It's like a fluffy, cloudy, white head going on. Yeah, this is, this is the type of beer, once I start drinking this type of beer, I like that dryness, I like that spiciness, I like that grapefruit, I like that bitter bite at the back end with the orange peel, the fleshy blood orange. It's very clinical. I like my IPAs clinical. Yes, I like the Vermont style IPAs. Yes, I like the New England IPAs. Same thing, different name. But yes, I also like this old school style IPA with rasping bitterness and lovely grapefruit flavours. Let's rate it. Nergonato. And it's not about the beer they sent me. It's not about the bottle opener they sent me or the glass they sent me or the other beer that they've sent me. I'm 100% genuine in what I'm about to say and that 
they have just held on to their quality. They have not changed one iota. They are still producing world-class beer and Nognio. And I say that because they, they've been taken over by a company called Hansa, which is the largest lager producing company in Norway. Quite a big affair, quite a big brewery. And yeah, nothing's changed. They're still producing great beer. I like this beer enough to give it a stonking, stonking, stone the crows, nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.